today is a cleaning and reset video. I don't know why, but I feel like in the summertime, I the house is just like more dirty. We're doing more things. The dogs are in and outside. Um, and we have like white baseboards and white cabinets. I don't know why, maybe like Garrett being outside. Well, we know why, okay? Houses get dirty, okay? And <laughs> sometimes they just need a little bit of a deep clean and that's what we're gonna do today. Today we're starting in the kitchen. It's honestly like my favorite place to be, but with the daily coffees or even twice daily coffees, we have coffee grounds, we have dogs, cooking, splatters, jam making, all the things. So the kitchen is the most dirtiest. Did you know that actually kitchens can be more dirty than your bathroom? That's gross. But before we get started, let's set the mood. Let's set the jams. I can't decide if I want spring coffee shop ambiance or if I want sweet summer jazz. Both photos are so aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. Ooh, I think we're gonna have to go with the coffee shop one. I do like an outdoor patio scene, but sometimes a coffee shop is even better. Um, one thing I love about living with a boy is the Xbox controller that is hooked up to our TV. But don't worry, that's what a side table is for. Always throwing this into the drawer. Out of sight, out of mind, do not wreck my aesthetic. Like seriously, how cute is that? Let's get started in the kitchen. Coffee area is like the most dirty because coffee grounds get everywhere. Even if I constantly vacuum them up, they are just a menace to society. In my last vlog, I talked about how these were just like a little too long. So I think we can cut these microfiber towels in half or maybe quarters, just so that it's easier for me to use. And also like, why not? Okay, these are about the size that I'm actually needing slash wanting. So much easier to use and you know get into all the little parts and wondering how much they're gonna shed but that'll be fine Okay, I would love to say that things don't get stacked up in our house, but sometimes they do. And this is a prime example. So these glasses have been sitting up here since my birthday. That was back in May. So they've been hanging out for quite a while and honestly, they've gathered dust. So I'm gonna pull them off. I've also had a pot fall. This one is a string of pearls. I've had her for the last three years and I, every time I get like a good root system, I end up like pushing her into the sink or over here and it falls and it gets dirt all over and I want her to get some light. I want it to be good, but I'm probably gonna have to rehome her to a different area. But this like little area just gets kind of congested and it needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna move everything off and um, you know, give her a good spray and scrub. Thank you. 
And to clean the ledge in front of the window, I literally have to be on the counter in order to reach it. It is such a hassle. And honestly, I probably shouldn't put any plants here, but growing up, I always had like my mom and my grandmother had plants by their sink and I want flowers by my sink. So if I have to climb on here and give it a little scrub because I got dirt everywhere, that is a cross I'm willing to bear, but it is ridiculous. They need to be washed, but I don't exactly have the bandwidth to hand wash them. I would love to just be able to put them in here, but I actually don't know if it's gonna work. Maybe I'll just dust them. Like they don't have to be cleaned, but like maybe take a clean towel and just dust them, put them in the cabinet and know that I might have to rinse them. Sounds like a better plan. I love doing a deep clean and a reset when our fridge is looking more on the empty side than full size. I also have been trying really, really hard when we go to the grocery store to have a plan. Like, what meals are we going to eat this week? Not next week, maybe when it sounds good. No, like, let's have a plan. Let's get the ingredients that we're needing because going to the grocery store without a plan and just getting things willy-nilly leads to waste. So like this arugula, we ate it for three different meals, but there's still just like a little bit left. I probably should have used this on my eggs like two days ago, but we didn't. For our little reset, I'm gonna pull everything out, sort through the things that are bad, the things that are empty, and then give it a good wipe down. And now this is what we're working with to put in our clean fridge. I love to audit the things in our fridge and think, oh, like, is this red wine vinegar good? Yep, that's so good, I used it last week. Okay, what about this salsa? No, the salsa is not good, we had this a month ago. So, you know, just itemizing, going through it, what have we been using, what do we need to restock on, um, what's almost empty, whatever. So, now we put it all back. cleaning the fridge it takes so much time and not time at all. I think maybe it's because the fridge like constantly beeps at me if I'm taking too long um, of having the doors open. So that's always annoying. The only thing left to do in the kitchen is to sweep and mop the floors. Okay, now that we have wiped everything down, I'm gonna take the kitchen rug and one of the washcloths. I've already gone through three. I've already thrown them in the washer. Bam, bam, pick these up plop the chairs on top of the counter and give it a good little vacuum in a mop. Okay, kitchen, dining room area is vacuumed. These flowers are starting to look a little dead and I have plenty of room in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to these beautiful blooms. They were nice while I had them, but now it's time to toss them in the garbage. They say if you wanna keep your flowers longer, you want to be able to drink out of the vase. You want it that clean. So I just put mine in the dishwasher just to give it a little sanitization. And then honestly, we can go ahead and start the dishwasher. Like I said, I've vacuumed all in here. Now let's put the living room together. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm feeling so good about the kitchen area and the dining room. We've definitely set out to accomplish everything that we've accomplished in this room. Now it's time to see if we have any laundry. Um, I did throw in a couple towels, but I think we, yes we do. We also have a couple um, pieces of clothing in our laundry basket, so I'm gonna throw those in. My favorite <laughs> is to do the um, the reset, the re-clean overnight. So the washing machine is going, the dishwasher is going, everything's going and like working while I sleep, you know? So let's load these clothes, get this started. I already did a load of clothes that were in the dryer. They're folded, they're put on our bed, but I need to actually like put the clothes away. And we're done cleaning the house. I always feel like there's so much to do and my list grows and grows by the moment. But then when I actually get to it, my motivation drops down or I've run out of time or whatever. But deep cleaning or reset is just what is going to make you feel good. When I wake up, my kitchen, spick, span, beautiful. My fridge, stunning, gorgeous, immaculate. Floors, so clean, pristine. And when they are done, it makes me appreciate it so much more because I spent the time cleaning it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.